she got them on their feet. I didn't even know about this performance. Nah, nah. Yeah. See that interaction? See that? I just got goosebumps. They interacting with the band. They have fun. They have fun. What's going on, YouTube? It's Kevin from KT Music Group bringing you another reaction video. All right. This one goes out to my main man, Martin, out of Harlem, New York, New York City. And, uh, he requested a long, long time ago. I had to go back th through my notes. You know, I'm going through my notes. I was like, wow. I, and, you know, I neglected to do uh, a track called All, All Time Smash Hit. You know, this was charts. You know how I feel about the charts, but, you know, we like charted songs, too. We just also do that underground, the B-side stuff. All right, but this is Lady Marmalade by Patti LaBelle. All-time classic. First time I ever heard heard of her. Heard uh, the group LaBelle. You know, uh, was in the 70s, early to mid-70s, somewhere in there. And uh, it was a smash hit all over the radio. Parents playing it through the house. I think uh, we had the 45 in the house even before I was even buying music on, on my own back in that day. But anyway, uh, it's Patti LaBelle. I mean, she's a beast. We're going to get right into it. Uh, and I'll give you some more uh, facts and figures as we go along. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, click the notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. Check out the merch. Without further ado, let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, performing the Grammy Hall of Fame recording, Lady yeah, no, Marmalade, Patti LaBelle. Hey, this live, this live version of, of uh, Lady Marmalade, I never heard before. Uh oh, Barack Obama, president, former president. A nice wig. Whatever that means. <laughs> this is the part I remember. Hey, I remember that. All right, I see you, first lady, former first lady. Well, they got a band, don't they? That band look good back there. Yeah, this goes back to my parents' generation of music. And LaBelle came out. There were three of them. Uh, you know, I didn't even know Patty. I didn't even know her last name was LaBelle. I just thought that was the name of the group. All right, they just took her last name. You know, that happens. For example, or, or it could be a first name or a nickname. Uh, Zap Troutman, they use his nickname to name the group. Zap, in this case, LaBelle was the name of this group. So anyway, you got Patti LaBelle singing lead vocals. And you got Nona Hendrix, who on her own, I believe, had a great career. Pretty good career. You know what I'm saying? And there was another uh, member. What was her name? Let me this down. I had a cheat sheet. <laughs> Sarah Dash. All right. So yeah, Patti LaBelle, backup singers. You got uh, Nona Hendrix, Sarah Dash. All right. Similar seems to be the similar formation of uh, what do you call it the. Um, come on, man. The Supremes. You got Diana Ross and her two background singers. I can't remember everything. All right, let's keep going. This ain't about them. This is about. Patty LaBelle and LaBelle and Lady Marmalade. <laughs> the drummer getting busy. He holds them drums. The drummer's holding the drumsticks like my dad. <laughs> what do they do? Skip? And this performance was in 2014, by the way. 
Whoop. I hear you horn section. See the cool keyboard man. And she's a great performer too, even even at this age. I should say this stage of her career. I see bass man, you know I'm like, I'm always watching it. I'm always watching the musicians. Always. I love concerts. Are they gonna break it down? Alright. She got him on their feet. I didn't even know about this performance. Uh, nah, nah. Yeah. See that interaction? See that? I just got goosebumps. They interacting with the band. And they have fun. They have fun. And the crowd's having fun. Everybody having fun. Oh, I guess it's on PBS. I get this drumstick. Now that woman got a show enough voice. Woo! Hey, Patty, did it? I love some good singing. All right, Patty. I hear you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Man. Patty LaBelle. Originally recorded by LaBelle. Uh, Lady Marmalade. I mean, man. I mean, they did so much. Uh, the song itself, well, the song Lady Marmalade was inducted into the rock and roll, not the rock and roll, the Grammy Hall of Fame. I didn't even know that existed. The song had so much influence, probably because the, the multicultural type thing, the French lyrics, voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir, which translates something, I'm gonna paraphrase, I ain't got to memorize. Uh, do you want to sleep with me tonight? Okay, and uh, it is what it is. You know, so uh, that's the song. Uh, I mean, she had uh, from 2000, from 1986 to 2006, she won seven in, uh, NAACP Image Awards, and she won two. I believe she won two Grammys. Was nominated for a bunch. She has a laundry list of stuff. I wrote some stuff down. It's too much. Uh, she, um, man. Uh, yeah, just a little bit about the group. Yeah, the group uh, started in 1971. They split in 1976 because of some infighting on the musical direction. And uh, like I said, you know, Patty, of course, the rest was history for her. Nona Hendrix, I, I heard her name, so I'm sure she had a substantial career. Didn't hear anything about uh, Sarah Dash, you know. So if y'all know something about Sarah Dash, y'all put that in the comments. But that song right there, I mean, that's all you heard when that came out. Of course it was, of course it was number one. You don't get inducted to the Grammy Hall of Fame, which we don't care about, but in this case we do, okay? We, we care we care when people who make good music and share their art with us. When they win, we feel good, we enjoy the music, they get rewarded. Yeah, we care about it in that way. We just don't uh, care about it as far as deciding what music we like personally. You know, this is, <laughs> this is, KTMG is all about that funk in whatever form it comes in, all right? This would most definitely, you can look for uh, this to be in my ladies of funk R&B, funk and R&B playlist uh, at KT Music Group. All right, I've said enough. 10 out of 10, A plus, 20 out of 20, two thumbs up. It's Lady Marmalade. It's a Hall of Famer. This track is a Hall of Famer. This is the first time I think we 
ever did a song that was a Hall of Famer. You know, we might have did some Michael Jackson that was a Hall of Famer that I that I, I wasn't aware of, but this is the one. This is one that I'm aware. Of, all right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Click the notification so the notifi notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. If you're a new subscriber, type I've subscribed in the comments so I can properly welcome you into the land of funk here at KT Music Group, KTMG radio station. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you know how I feel about the radio. And um, and that's that. Don't forget the merch. Good music is in the air to beholder, as I always like to say. Great music is timeless. This song will be good 50 years from now. It's a classic. Till next time. Y'all take care. And thanks, uh, thanks, Martin out of Harlem, New York, for bringing this to us. Once again, you keep the funk coming. Anything that any of you all want me to react to, leave it in the comments. I, I'm writing them all down. I'll get to them eventually. Just keep them coming. All right, till next time, y'all take care. Peace.